Dugout News YouTube channel is what you're watching. Welcome aboard. Got some new news for you concerning Team Zoo and what uh, the future holds. Now, Team Zoo uh, says that uh, he has his priorities and there is no need uh, to sell his soul for money. For money. What does he mean in this? What does he mean in this, Team Zoo? What does he mean in all this? Now, junior middleweight uh, Team Zoo isn't interested in prioritizing money over titles and activity or whatever else he may want to do at any given uh, moment. Speaking at a media workout in Las Vegas ahead of uh, his October 19th uh, title fight against current title holder Bakram Mutazaryev at the Carib Royal Resort in Orlando, Florida, Team Zoo emphasized that uh, he, like high-profile peers uh, Sol Canelo Alvarez and uh, Jovanta Tank Davis, is not swayed by boxing his recent influx of uh, Saudi cash. Now, that is Tim Zhu saying, I don't know if he has the star power and uh, uh, the, the kind of crowd puller that uh, the likes of Canelo Alvarez and Jovanta Tank Davis are. Obviously, he's uh, a very well-loved man in his native country, Australia. But uh, remember, the home of boxing, the make of boxing is in the States. And uh, when you big in the States, then you big all over. You big all over. So uh, uh, he says that uh, we don't have to sell our souls, as they say, for money. Tim Zhu's relationship with... Uh, uh, Saudi uh, Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority uh, advice and uh, good guy uh, Takia Al Shiki, chairman of uh, the Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority. Uh, the relationship between uh, Tim Zhu and uh, Takia Al Shiki has been rocky. Uh, Tim Zhu is now 29 years, and uh, we remember he was set to fight uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz Jr. as part of a Riyadh season undercut that would have been uh, on the Terence Crawford Israel Madrimov event in uh, Los Angeles. Then a sequence of events unfolded. Tim Zhu, whose forehead was cut badly in his split decision loss to Sebastian Fundora in March, was not clear to fight on the card. Ortiz was moved back to August 10th and defeated uh, Sehi Bohachuk via a majority decision in a grueling uh, fight. Most thought uh, Ortiz Zhu would be eminent. However, Alal Shiki unexpectedly cut ties with Zhu after Ortiz's win in August. I will not work with Team Zhu, Alal Shiki told uh, Fight Hub TV then. The team do his way. He doesn't understand. Despite the drama, Zhu expressed a desire to fight in Saudi Arabia one day, though acknowledged that his urge to fight in the United States had a greater pull. I would love to fight in uh, Saudi Arabia. I think it's an emerging country, first of all, Tim Zhu said. But for me as a young kid and a boxing lover, America is where it's at. I grew up watching big fights here. And it has always been a dream of mine to be fighting in the U.S. and experiencing it all. Tim Zhu is now set to face 31-year-old Russian title holder uh, Bakram Mutazaliev, who is at uh, 22 fights, no losses, 16 chaos, who resides in uh, uh, California and is managed by Egis Kelmas, the same manager who backs Alexander Yusuk, Vasily Lomachenko, and uh, Johnny Beck Almkanlu and Orlando in the United States is indeed where it's at that is uh, Tim Zhu talking about uh, him of uh, in no need of selling his soul for money I think that is uh, a harsh word to use uh, it's not that uh, Taki Alal Shiki is uh, taking people's souls because of money uh, in the contest, I understand what Zhu is trying to mean. He's like, uh, it's a kind of selling your soul. It's like a kind of something bad uh, happening for boxing, what Taki Al Alal Shiki is doing. And uh, he says, because in that he says uh, his priorities are well known. Uh, he thinks that uh, 
he, he can only prioritize uh, titles and activity uh, that uh, prioritizing money uh, other than uh, aside of titles and activity is selling your soul selling your soul I don't get that boxers are into boxing to, for the money for the money we all enjoy watching boxing but at the end of the day boxers should be given money and that is what Takia Raushik is doing we had failed to get these big fights uh, happening every now and then and we're getting them so I think uh, Tim Zhu is just uh, probably disappointed with uh, Takia Raushik cutting ties with his team uh, I, but I had Takia Raushik he did say clearly that uh, a Tim Zhu's team uh, should first uh reorganize themselves and uh, uh find a proper way of uh, dealing with uh, his excellency taki al shiki so i think uh what tim zu and his team should be doing because you you can't get into those uh title fights again but you need the money you need the money you need to 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 to, to make a fortune out of uh putting your lives on the line that's what boxing is all about. We, we, we enjoy to watch boxing. We love title fights. We love it all. But we also want to see fighters getting money. And uh, we have to thank Taki Alaushiki for bringing that kind of uh, uh, X factor that was missing in boxing. We wouldn't have gotten the chance probably to see Dibwa Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Alexander Yusuf for the Undisputed, uh, Terence Crawford and Israel Madrimov. We're seeing so many good fights. Fabio Wadley, Fraser Clark, we're going to see that rematch uh, tomorrow. So we're all excited, and I think Tim Zhu should only be excited about this. I don't buy into uh, the Jovante Tank Davis' uh, uh, excuses of saying, you see, you have to give me this kind of money. Uh, well, we need to see big monies in big fights, but uh, I think what Taki Ahashik is doing it's something good for boxing, and he's giving out uh, the kind of money that uh, suits a fighter, suits both fighters that uh, do uh, go into those fights. But I don't know what you guys think about all this, with Tim Zhu saying that uh, he will not prioritize money over titles and activities. It is uh, a dig, and uh, the dig is aimed at... Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia's uh, chairman uh, and uh, that is uh, chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, Taki Aral Sheikhi. Place your comments in the comment section below. I sign out. Peace.